Hey, welcome to Tarot Insights for the week of April 19th. I hope everyone had a great week last week. The cards were wonderful. My thing fell through, but I hope not everybody else's did. You know, I sometimes we find that things... Oh, hi, Kendra. Glad you could join us. So sometimes, you know, we find things that... Oh gosh, you know, we think we want and we're like, oh, I really, really, really want that. And they fall through. They don't happen. And and we can either get sour and, and angry or upset, or we can look at look at it and say, you know what, it must not have been meant to be, or something better is gonna come up. I definitely feel very guided and very, very protected and taken care of. Hey, Chris, Julia, Pam, good to see y'all. Um, and so although my thing didn't fall through, I really feel strongly that it just means the time wasn't right. Oh, hi, Suzanne, glad you could join us. I was just talking about how sometimes when things don't happen, you know, it's like uh, God's unanswered prayers. You know, sometimes the unanswered prayers are really the answered prayers. Hey, David, glad to see you. Oh, and Jim, hi, hiya. All right, well, we've got quite a few people on, so let's get started up. Oh, hi, Susan, good to see you you too. Let's get started and see what the energy is for this week. All right, we've got the cards are good and shuffled. Oh, maybe they're not good and shuffled. They're flying around. Oh, hi, Jean. Hey, Gigi. <laughs> All right, I think we have a couple of the family on. All right, so what's the energy for Monday? Monday, we're really looking at finances and are we spending our money wisely? Um, one of the things that, that I've noticed recently, hi Juno, who else are we seeing? Oh, we have Jesse, Elizabeth, good to see you. So Monday, we're looking at, are we spending money wisely? Especially be careful about people trying to take money more scammy-like. Now, it doesn't mean everybody's gonna be scammy. It just shows that energy's in the air, so you just wanna be careful. Also, you may find that you go ahead and do something fabulous for somebody and they just don't appreciate it. Well, you're either doing it for appreciation or you're doing it because you feel like it's the right thing to do. And so guide what how you follow up with that from with with uh how you're doing it, but you may not get the appreciation. Let's look at Tuesday. Tuesday is a bang up day. Tuesday we have the sun card. And so you may find that things that were delayed later last week may come to fruition this week. Tuesday's a new beginning, bright, sunny energy. The sun is kind of like, look ma, no hands. It's graduating to the next level. It's like when a, a kid finally gets potty trained, you know? Um, it's just like a, a wonderful thing and it's the new level or you learn to tie your shoes as a child. So that's what the energy of Tuesday is going to be like. Wow, look at I can do this and and going uh, a new beginning going to a new level. Oh, we have Cynthia and Shayna. Glad you could come on. So let's see about Wednesday. Oh, hi, Mary Beth. We're just looking at Wednesday. Wednesday, we have the star card and again, bang up day. Set Wednesday, I think is a day where you're really going to find that how you're taking care of yourself is is being seen clearly hmm that could be good or that could be not so good. So if you're starting a new routine, I think you'll really be empowered to continue on Wednesday. If you've kind of been slacking, you may find that you're feeling it and Wednesday's the day to get going again. Thursday, you may find that communication is tough. People don't want to hear what you have to say. And so I would really look and uh, I always say, you know, choose your wars carefully. You know, is this even worth trying to discuss you know if someone can't hear you they can't hear you you know um but what thursday you may find that people aren't hearing you well and so i would really look to see if it's worthwhile struggling through it's not saying not to but look and see if there's a reward for the effort let's look at friday Friday, we have the Empress. I always think of her sitting on her couch, sitting all comfy, you know, eating bonbons. And so Friday, I feel is a day where you're going to say, I am going to do what's comfortable uh, for me or look dad, no hands. Yeah, same, you know, of course, Elizabeth can go either way. My daddy's not here anymore, so I don't think of it that way, right? So um, anyway, back to... Um, 
Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, back to Friday. So Friday we have the Empress. And again, it doesn't have to do with uh, women necessarily. You can have a male Empress. Um, it's just a feminine energy and the, the nurturing, the creativity is your juices are going to be flowing, uh, those creative juices. And it's also though a time of paying attention to your comfort level. And that seems to be an underlying message this week about really, um, you know, moving forward when you feel empowered and then backing off when you're not. Let's see about Saturday. Saturday looks like a horrible card, but it's actually fabulous. It's the end of, of staying up all night worrying. It's the end of worry. And we all love that, right? So on Saturday, it just shows kind of a carefree kind of day. So Saturday has that carefree vibe. And then let's see, let's finish up on Sunday. Sunday, we're feeling a little restricted and so maybe we're a little too carefree on Saturday but Sunday we're feeling like oh I gotta pull it in Sunday you may find is a day where you stay home and you end up you know uh, being more nurturing inwardly rather than being as outward it's not necessarily a terrible card but it's saying I'm feeling a little restricted or I need to restrict myself a little bit so Monday we have watch out not everybody may appreciate what you're doing for him Tuesday is is, is a great day for new beginnings, starting new projects, um, success. To, Wednesday is a day of taking care of yourself and really feeling good about yourself and good about what you're doing. And if you're not doing what you feel good about, it's a good day to start a new routine. Thursday, you may find communications a little tough. So, you know, pick your wars carefully. Friday's the Empress. It's all about comfort, nurturing, and creativity. If you've been waiting for a creative project, Friday's a great day to get started. Saturday is just a carefree day. And Sunday, we're saying, oh, I need to pull it back in a little bit and um, take care of what needs to be taken care of. Take a little bit of inward time. So let's see what the message is for the week. Um, they're showing me a jolly old King Cole. Now, um, I don't know what that's about, but we're gonna, we're, we'll take it. It's just showing me a very happy, but authoritative position. It's showing me someone who's very giving and generous and very happy about it, but they're also grounded and, and they, they make sure that they're not giving more than they have to give so that they can give with that freedom of heart, right? And so uh, this week is a week to really look at how much can you give? Feel, it feels so good to give freely. Make sure that you have it before you give it out. And if you do have it, enjoy the gift. It's just such a blessing to be able to give. All right, guys, we'll see you next week. If you haven't um, checked out the soul energy maps I've been doing lately, the soul energy maps are a wonderful way to kind of get in tune or get tuned into your soul and your energy and your vibration. You can contact me to find out what they're about. And if you're into crystals, come on over to Cindy's Crystal Corner and uh, join us on the Crystal Corner, Cindy's Crystal Corner group page for crystals and all sorts of pretties. All right. See you next week. Bye-bye.